Hey, what's up guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube, Eli Fishman Sports. Back with another interview today over the phone. I'm happy to be joined by Thomas Eshelman, a uh, pitching prospect for the Philadelphia Phillies. Thomas, thanks for joining me today. Good to be here, Eli. Of course, thanks for joining me today. Uh, so you went to Cal State Fullerton where you, where you posted an amazing 1.65 ERA, a 28 and 11 record. Uh, where you were an All American uh, in your two seasons there. You were one of the best pitchers in the country. Uh, can you tell me about your time playing for the Titans at Cal State? Yeah, it was uh, it was a fun time. Uh, middle of the good people there. Uh, good had a lot of good relationships with the guys and and still do and. Um, it was, uh, it was a fun three years of baseball, that's for sure, and especially uh, bringing the Titans back to Omaha in my junior year, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was a good experience for me, it was a good stepping stone in my career. So you were three-time All-American, you were All-American in every single season while you were at Cal State, um, but in, as you said, in, uh, in your junior year, you got the opportunity to play at TD Meritrade Ballpark in the College World Series. You know, you got to pitch on TV at one of the world's biggest sporting events, uh, at this amazing stadium on national television. Just what was that experience in, o in Omaha like? It was unbelievable. The, uh, the people I've met there, uh, the teams we played against, you only dream about playing those types of guys, especially guys like Nancy Swanson and Carson Palmer. Uh, be playing against those guys on the biggest stage in the in the College Bowl series, it was uh, it was a dream come true. And um, for me, it's where the Cal State Fullerton in uniform doing it. Uh, it. Like I said, it was it was a humbling experience, and uh, it was a good uh, good last hoorah at Cal State Fullerton. Uh, on national television by the assistant general manager to the Houston Astros. Uh, in the 2015 Major League Baseball draft, you were selected in the second round, 46th overall. On national television, to hear your name called by the Houston Astros in the Major League draft, what was going through your mind? How did that feel? It was pretty funny, actually. I was, uh, I was playing in Louisville in the Super Regionals, and uh, I had to down to Florida, the Gulf Coast League, which is where, where you made your debut with the GCL Astros in two innings of work. How did it feel to step onto the rubber for the first time as a professional baseball player? It was different. It was different going from pitching on uh, Friday nights underneath the lights to pitching in Florida and 85 degree weather with 100% humidity and uh, it was a bit different atmosphere. Uh, but I was excited to, to get it going, excited to start my professional career, and uh, it was a good uh, good start to uh, my career as a professional athlete. Uh, almost a year ago, uh, you never you never got to play a full season in a Houston Astros uniform, and that's because during the winter meetings last season, you were part of a seven player deal where you were sent to the Philadelphia Phillies with Vince Velasquez, Mark Appel, and Brett Oberholzer for Ken Giles and Jonathan Ruse. Going through a trade, you're 21 years old, you haven't even played a full season in a professional uniform. What was going through your mind, and what were your thoughts on going to a new team? I had no idea what to think, actually. I, like I said, this is my first, that was my first full, I'm in a full year with the Astros, and to be traded... Um, before I'd even gone through a full season with the Astros, it was different. It was weird for me. I didn't know what to think, but um, it all came down to the, the Phillies wanted me that bad to, to trade for me uh, for not even going through a full season. So it, it's nice to be 
wanted by our organization, such as the Phillies, and um, I, I'm really happy to be a part of this organization and the, and the people that come with it. So you, this season you played in high A and double A with the Philadelphia Phillies, and in high A Clearwater you got to play in the Florida State League All-Star Game. So it's your first minor league All-Star Game, it was your first year with the Phillies. Uh, what was the experience of that first minor league All-Star Game like? That was a fun experience as well. Um, I mean, you're playing with the best people in that in that uh, in that league, and uh, I mean, it's always fun playing with the guys that you pitch against your the whole first half of the season, um, and, and they're put, they're putting up pretty good numbers. So to have them on your side and um, facing the uh, facing the the other side, it was. It was great to be a part of the uh, relationships made throughout that whole time at, at Fort Myers was fun. Um, and just everything that came along with that was, uh, it was a great experience for me to be a part of. And I was just blessed to be there and, and, um, and to meet and play with all those guys. After dominating in that first season in the Phillies organization, right now you're the number seven pitching prospect for the Phillies. And you're in that group of, they call you future Phils. Uh, and you're projected to be in Major League Baseball next season. You're definitely going to have a shot in spring trading. Uh, to know, looking forward to next season, to know that and how, how does that, and that know that you can accomplish big things uh, next season, maybe even make it to Major League Baseball. How does that make you feel about your future, and what do you hope to accomplish all in all next season? Uh, it, it just makes you want to work harder each and every day. And and when you when you get tired or you when, when you get overwhelmed by what you're doing in your off season workout, for that to be in the back of your mind, it, it only makes you want to work harder and. And for me to have that uh, estimated time of arrival to be in the big leagues next year, uh, it makes me want to put my head down and, and work hard and, and get better at my craft and uh, just keep keep working and have open ears and, and listen to what everybody has to say about different things because it could ultimately help your game out. So, um, like I said, it's, it's something I want to work hard for. It's been my dream my whole life to be able to pitch in the big leagues, and uh, it would be a, a real humbling experience to be pitching at Citizen Bank with my parents um, in the stands watching me throw. But so it, it's something that I want to work harder for each and every day. All right, thank you uh, so much, Thomas. Best of luck for the rest of your career. I hope that moment comes next season at Citizens, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports, thanks for watching this interview.